All right, hey guys, we're back with more Assassin's Creed, and we're young again. Look, we're young, Evie. So we're here. We're gonna do the uh, the last Maharaja uh, DLC missions. I hope I'm saying that right, cause uh, they're pretty cool. They're they're kind of just like associate activities, but a little bit better. Um, well, they're not really like associate activities, um, but you know they're like their own individual missions, and they're pretty good. It kind of it they're they're just about as long as a sequence too, maybe even a little bit longer. So, um, in that regard, kind of makes up for the game being a little bit short. And they're a lot of fun, so I thought we could do them. Uh, this is the final DLC pack for Assassin's Creed Syndicate, and probably the last, uh, bit of content we're going to have in the Assassin's Creed department for a while, because they haven't announced another Assassin's Creed game yet. So, uh, so it's a good thing that these uh, last missions were good. Your attempts to influence Parliament for the Indian cause have failed. You must do more. I will not jeopardize my relationship with Queen and country to satisfy your crusade. Your Highness, you belong to India. Not here, acting the part of a noble foreigner. I have wasted enough time indulging in this nonsense. If your nonsense. mother could see you now, the last Maharaja of Punjab, basking inside his golden cage... How dare you? I always recommend bringing someone's mother into the argument. If he doesn't help his people, he will regret it forever. How may we help? Will you talk to him? He won't listen to me. We'll do our best. All right, so uh, we've been tasked to speak with Singh. Dalip Singh, or whatever his name, I always call him Singh, because that's like his first name, unless Dalip is his first name, but I'm not sure, but uh, it also might be worth mentioning that these missions do take place after, <laughs> after the, um, what is it, um, yeah, the main story, sorry, I had to sneeze there, take me a minute. Also, I'm totally not looking for him like I'm supposed to. He's around here somewhere, I know it. It's also cool that Henry Green is still on the field. Oh, there he is. Um, these missions, I do believe, if you download them, unlock after sequence 3. But it is, like I said, worth mentioning that they take place after the game. So, that's cool. Your Highness, you have guests. I suppose Mr. Green sent you. Bringing up your mother was... Impolite, and he was wrong to do so. We'd like to rectify the situation. Then humor me, and join me in a shooting game. None of these people have any sense of enjoyment, and I am bored to death. A shooting game? Seeing you haven't changed at all. Ellsworth? My word! <laughs> How good it is to see you! The mother country has treated you well. <laughs> uh, Jacob and Evie Fry, this is Brinley Ellsworth, a friend from a past life. You've made new friends, I see. What brings you to this part of the Empire? Ah, company business, unfortunately. But I could not resist the chance of seeing you again. It's been far too long. I've heard nobody throws a party better than my dearest friend. <laughs> I'm eager to see if your reputation overseas holds any truth. My servant Thomas will be scoring the game. <clears throat> Acquire the most amount of points by shooting the bottles in front of you. Each bottle is worth one point. You have 30 seconds. May the best shot win. All right, so all we got to do is uh, shoot the bottles, which is uh, pretty easy. It's not too hard. I like to go left from right. The controls for shooting aren't the best. Also, that one there in the back is not one. It just kind of, it, it's really weird. I think it's just a distraction. But 30 seconds is more than enough to shoot all these, as you can see. We still had like 12 seconds, 13 seconds left. And I was going kind of safe and slow. This isn't enough of a challenge. Let's shorten the timer. So as you can hear, as you heard there, 
Going to shorten the timer. Same, same uh, strategy here, just left to right. And uh, this isn't the best pistol you can have at this time. Jacob, I actually have equipped with the DLC pistol, which is... Uh, did I get that bottle? I got, I got that one. We're going to be cutting it close here. I think I missed, actually. Oh, I did get it last second. Nice. You are equally matched with this one, Sing. Your turn, Your Highness. Come, let us see if you are better with a gun than you were with a slingshot. <laughs> Allow me. Impressive. I am in awe, Sing. What they say of you is true. What on earth? Sir, I believe I heard a second shot. He's right. That sounded like a second gunshot. Strange. Let me see what I can find out. I'm sure it wasn't anything serious. Don't bother. So, now we're going to be introduced to a new mechanic here. This is kind of like uh, the detective sequences before, but a little bit different. Or like the investigation murder mystery stuff that we've seen in the past. Um, but this is this is more like uh, inter interrogating and you know talking to suspects, which is kind of cool. Because now we can go up to people and we can actually select what we want to say. It's limited right now because we don't have too many clues. And there's our tutorial right there. But we can basically hit A uh, and ask him if he heard two shots. I've been doing this a long time. I know the difference between one shot and two. There were most definitely two shots. All right, so there we go. We interrogated him. Let's see what uh, Jack McJagger has to say about this. I mean, this dude's pretty cool, right? He's got his two babes out with him, and he's in his sweet hairstyle for this time frame. Let's see what he has to say. Second shot. I didn't hear anything. There was no one else who would shoot a gun at a party. We were shooting guns at the party, so I guess it's not that unheard of. Also, Singh is super great. Did you see that? I mean, is that even... Yeah, I guess that's a lever-action rifle, so I guess that's possible, but that was some pretty good shooting on his part. I'm surprised I actually made it there at the end. I, that The pistol we're using, this one isn't super great. Also, I, I tried to get it out to show you. We can't right now. Let's see what Singh has to say. Are you suggesting this is a serious matter? It was most likely just an echo. Leave it be now. So, kind of weird his response there. I mean, at first he said that it sounded like a second shot, then now he's thinking it's an echo. And he don't think he doesn't think it's worth investigating. I mean, he's not the only one at this party. Also, that guy's this guy over here, Thomas, is like dead certain that it's uh, something's going on here. Also, we can go to Eagle Vision and see projectile trajectory of all the bullets. Also, he it looks like he hit that one in the back. But like I said, that's not a target. You don't have to shoot that one. I guess he did the sh showboat. So it looks like we can go over here. It looks like someone shot something. Maybe there was there's definitely some trajectory here. It looks like they were aiming for Singh. But their aim totally sucks. This is like, what, 20 yards? And he hit it. He didn't even hit his feet. That was way off. And it looks like they left their gun here, too, as you can see. That's uh, nothing but evidence. It's unfortunate that they don't have, like, CSI back in this time. I mean, obviously, you leave the gun, it's got fingerprints. I mean, let alone. What if it has, you know, saliva or anything else on it, right? What if they just spit all over the gun? So I do like this mechanic where you can uh, interrogate suspects. I do wish it was more drawn out. We might have a few options here. Let's see. What are you on about? Guns are prohibited in the gardens. Okay, maybe not then. Let's see. Uh, that dude's a potential shooter. Evie thinks that's the dude. Or unless this is the lady. It might have been a lady. It could have been a lady. Are ladies good shots? I saw the man in front of me with a gun. I just assumed it was part of the decor. You know how royalty likes to socialize. Yeah, I'm not sure what she's on about there. Uh, so I think that's it. Um, what do we do now? I forget. Let's see if this guy's thing can say. Oh, yeah, see, now we have, like, um... We can select two different things. Now we have the opportunity to, like, back and forth it. Which I wish this was more drawn out. For the most part, you only have, like, one or two, maybe three at the most. But this is a really interesting way to talk to people. It's a really cool feature. And uh, I'm hoping that at least the next Assassin's Creed game has something like this. And it's a little bit more fleshed out. 
prince is causing problems. He deserves to be silenced. Kill him! Oh, so it looks like that was the guy who did it. And uh, it looks like these are the bodyguards. I'm s suspecting that she can't put up that much of a fight. I mean, in a dress, right? So let's just totally nail these guys. Let's see. Multi-kill takedown on them. Nice. Oh, wow. We got her in the eyeball. That's uh, not very nice. She's super dead. We'll leave him there. Now we just got to locate the shooter. He took off running like a little pansy, and it's up to us to chase him down. We got to interrogate him. Oh, now he's, now he's running. Oh, you don't run from me. I always like to do that. That's a If you throw a knife, that's a good way to slow him down. All right, so it looks like this was the shooter. Um, looks like he's part of the British Indian Company, the BIC. In his pocket is a Templar ring. The Templar seal. What are they up to now? Yeah, what are they up to? Yeah, what is this? If only Barry was here. He could solve this in an instant. He's magnificent at detective work. I'll try to parkour over the table. I guess I can't. This is a party. I don't want to go all out and scare everybody. You're still here? About that second shot. It was nothing, Miss Fry. Now, I must return to the party. Yes, do fill me in on your life here. It's been far too long. Of course. Apologies, Your Highness. So he said, like, you're still here? What is that supposed to mean? Like, yeah, we're still here. We're part of this party, too. Also, Thomas, he looks super depressed. I feel like he hates his job. All right, so let's go talk to Henry and see what he has to say about this. I mean... His friend was uh, almost assassinated, maybe? I mean, he wasn't really in a threat with that kind of aim. I mean, like, who took the shot? I mean, it, it was probably that guy, right? Unless he ordered one of his two bodyguards to do it, and they're god-awful at shooting. I'm surprised he totally threw that away. He didn't want to hear anything we had to say, but at least Henry's here. He'll listen. Any progress? We've got a problem. We aren't the only ones seeking him out. Don't tell me the British Indies companies are harassing him again. They can't afford it. Worse. They're not acting alone. And Mr. Singh wants to be left out of it. The Templars? It can't be. We have to convince him to act quickly. Or he'll be in deeper waters than he already is. Meet me back at my old shop. I might know something that can help. Alright, I don't know what's going on here. I cannot walk any further. We hit the boundary line. Alright, so there you go. That was the first mission. A good shot. I really like it. Like I said, they add some new stuff. I mean, that new... Uh, interrogation feature is pretty cool. I could see that being uh, fleshed out more in a future game and also me maybe even turned into like a type of conversation uh, interaction menu. You know, not just for interrogations, but actually talking to people about stuff. So yeah, that was good. I get, uh, yeah, five stars, sure. But only because I managed to get a, achieve a perfect score on, the, on that thing. I managed to get all the bottles. Somehow. I'm not sure how. Alright, so we're here with the next DLC mission on the Maharaja DLC, DLC, and we're Jacob now. There is quite a bit of flexibility with who you can be in uh, these missions. I think only one or two are, like, person-specific, so not a big deal there. Let's go ahead and get into this mission, though, because it's pretty awesome. Good, you're here. Alright, so, uh... All he said was, good, we're here. So let's just go ahead and get into this. No need to talk about it. Let's just, uh... This isn't the first time His Highness has had on, troubles girl. with the British Indies Company. A couple of years ago, they held his mother captive and blocked all his letters to her. Odds are they're keeping his correspondence from reaching the outside world once again. I have acquired the mail courier schedule. There are two separate routes of transport. The first, a mail-carrying carriage convoy. The second, a train. If we set up an ambush, you should be able That's to seize his letters. Maybe this will change his mind. Easy Start now. with the convoy. We must block the road. The male convoy will be here any minute now. Scout the area for allies. I will guard the area. Alright, so uh, as you can see, here's a sub-objective to uh, get some allies. And you, uh, you need to be careful with this, because usually I think there's like, sometimes, yeah, these guys, he's under attack, and they don't, they don't have a whole lot of health, so you kind of got to get here. I think this is the only one under attack, 
But uh, let's see. We'll recruit him. We need to get three. Uh, a minute is usually enough time to survive. Um, but if you go for that guy and then he ends up dying, then you probably won't have enough time to go for another one. So uh, now we just need to have one more over here. I think it is possible for some to be kind of migrating around a little bit. Where is this guy? And you might be able to get them. But these three are always here, so you're good in that department. There's also, like, explosive barrels around if you were to, you know, want to use those or for whatever reason. I found it, you know, easy to just fight them. You know, when they get here, just shoot them in the face. That's totally fine, you know. So, uh, here we go. Envoy is headed our way. Rooks, you're with Henry. Understood. Will do. Got it. Just minding my own business. All right, so the only real risk here, to be honest, is Henry dying. He has very little health, actually. So if he actually gets in combat, he's going to be at a, a risk of dying. So you got to be very careful with that. Um, looks like... Well, I was hoping I'd kill some guys with that. But, uh, we should be okay. I don't know where Henry is at the moment, but, uh... We should be okay. We took out a few of them there with that. Oh, here's Henry. Yeah, you gotta keep an eye on Henry. Yeah, if he gets into a fight with one of these level 10 Templar guys, he's gonna be in some real trouble, so... Shoot that guy in the face, and Henry survives, so that's good. Also, there's one more guy. I'm not even sure if Henry could take one of these guys, to be honest. Says, our ally is under attack. He looks fine to me. So, now we gotta steal the letters out of this uh, little box here, this tr treasure chest. Repeat the same process with the train. I must return to my oh, shop and invite Mr. Singh over for dogs. a spot of tea. I just want to keep on living. There's so much All right, so now we got to escape the ambush zone. Let's just borrow one of these and get on out of here. Who's a good horse? You are. Oh, whoa, 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 what? Easy. Oh, do we need to bring Henry with us? I thought he said he was staying behind. Slow down. Is he coming or not? These missions are a little bit glitchy, though, so I'm not sure if he's going to come or not. Sca it says escape the ambush zone, so. Steady on. So there we go, okay. Alright, so you got to be careful there. It was a little bit laggy. It still registered as Henry being a member of our party, but. You know, so we're good now. We had to wait for him to catch up so he could say bye to us one more time, give us a farewell hug and kiss, but we're good to go now. Now we just need to head over here 400 meters away to the next ambush location. That uh, that first ambush went pretty well. You could probably set those barrels up a little bit better than I did and get some serious damage going early on. Uh, I think that one barrel would have been better off if I hadn't touched it at all. Um, I think the orientation that the barrels were in by default is probably the best orientation to be, a, be honest. Uh, I don't see it really being better than that. Because they're off to the side, and they're just far enough away from each other where they won't blow each other up. Um, you don't want to really put them in the middle of the street like I did either, because then that, if the carriage were, if you were to wait too long and wait for the carriage to roll over them, it just make it harder to shoot. So, you know, got to be careful for that. Also, I wish they'd fix that. Every time I get out of a carriage and it's like barely moving, they always do that stutter step there. You got to watch out for that. Or not. It doesn't really matter. Alright, so now we gotta recruit these guys, and I'm hoping we can find the one that's under attack. We might, we might not. Alright, it looks like this one. I'm pretty sure, yep, see him over there under attack. And like I said, they don't last long in a fight, so. If we can get this guy, nope, he's dead. Yeah, so we might not get this one. Because you gotta be quick. If you were to upgrade your rooks a little bit more... Than I have, you might be okay. And uh, if you're lucky enough to find one, maybe just kind of hanging out, you might be okay. So, yeah, here's one over here. Looks like he's kind of in a fight, too, though. I might be able to shoot these guys, though, and help him out a little bit. He is a brute. Look, look at them taking bullets like a champ. What am I supposed to do for that? 
look, see, now there it is. So, I don't know what to say about that. I mean, that dude was taking bullets to the face like, you know, like nobody's business. So, there was nothing I could do about that. We're also running low on bullets now. But, uh, I gave it my best shot. You know, and that's, that's, that's all I promised you guys. I didn't promise that we get it. I just promised that, uh, I'd give it my best shot. So no fancy business here, really. We just gotta ambush this train, which is uh, pretty cool. So we gotta find the letters, which are somewhere around here. I thought we could climb over that, but I guess not. I like to get on top of the train and fight. Um, this fight's definitely easier on account that you don't have to worry about Henry dying or anyone else. It's pretty much just you. So, you know, no need to worry about it. Also, this is a good place to get that one achievement where you have to kick people off the train. Because the train don't have to be moving for that. Uh, this is also a good mission to go in as Jacob because he is definitely um, the one to be using for fights. So. See, look, we're kicking him off the train. And uh, that's going to help with that achievement. Not that I'm really going for it, it's not that big a deal. But that is one of the harder achievements to get, because unless you replay a mission with a train in it, you're not going to be running into very many train fights. I mean, you could do like a train robbery, but uh, that those very rarely happen. I think uh, in the recent updates, they've maybe made it a little bit more common, but it's still not super common. So they're not giving up yet. Let's see if this dude's as bullet resistant as the last one. Yeah, it looks like it. But uh, we'll still shoot him in the face. There you go. How many of these guys have they got? I think they call reinforcements. But that's okay. I can go all day, really. And this is just more action for you guys. It looks like all these guys are Templars, though. This is just right for the picking on Jacob. I mean, he is just, like, super great at fighting. Especially now we got him pretty much upgraded all the way. You do have to be anonymous before you can get that stuff, so... Let's go ahead and kill these guys off. And I think there might be someone else around here. Maybe not. We do have to be anonymous still. So we'll go out of the detection zone. That should help speed things up a little bit. Because we pretty much killed everybody on the train. Let's see. Maybe if we even go into like secret stealth mode. Assassin stealth mode. No one knows those techniques. I think... I heard one time that it took them a lot of programming to add a duck. Like, just to make them duck like that, it took, like, a lot of programming. Here we are. Now back to Greeny. All right, so we got what we needed off this train. Let's get out of here. I wonder if we can jump through the window. Yes, we can. And then up. I didn't. I couldn't even see what was going on because of the camera. Oh, not good. This is... I just like, <laughs> this is going to be funny. Yep, that's funny. You can never hijack a um, a police car with two policemen in it. It has to be one. Otherwise, the other one will just see you coming and then throw you out. So you have to you have to be account for that. I'm just trying to get out of here now. And these policemen are giving me a hard time. All right, so let's get these guys out of here. I'm just trying to get out of this place. I'm gonna carry this guy and get him off here. I mean, we're not we're not trying to carry extra luggage. Get this guy out of here. I do think we have to be anonymous before the mission will end. Well, that's pretty much the end of the mission. Because we're just pretty much escaping the zone now. If we keep this up, we should be okay. We're out of the detection zone. Yep, there we go. There is a difference between pacifism... And in action. How many times do I have to tell you? Ah, you two do have impeccable timing. Did we interrupt something? I believe these will be of interest to you, Your Highness. These letters, they are from me. The seals have been broken. That's how we found them. This, this is a letter I wrote to my mother when I was just a boy. Where did you find these possessions of mine? On a mail convoy. The Templars. They have a way of getting to you. I thought I had put an end to it years ago. But the British Indies Company continues to steal my property. 
You were right to think something strange was afoot. We must take action. But it will not be possible without your help. I believe you're right. But I must have some time to think on this. In the meantime, please be discreet. I don't need Her Majesty finding out about this. Alright, so it looks like Henry and the assassins have managed to convince Singh that there is a plot against him. And uh, he's ready to work with us to take action against the Templars. We gotta put a stop to this. But uh, we're gonna take all that action next time.